Good evening, I'm Kenny Choi. Pamela Young has the night off. We start with a tragic crash this Easter weekend. Two young people are dead and a teenager hospitalized after a horrific car crash. It happened around 6.20 this morning on the H1 freeway in the westbound direction just past the north-south road. KITV 4's Shane Enright has our top story. Honolulu traffic investigators say the only victim to survive the crash is a 15-year-old boy who was taken here to the Queens Medical Center in stable condition. The Waipahu teenager made it out of this crushed pickup truck alive. Emergency officials say he was the only one wearing a seatbelt in the maroon 2006 Dodge Ram. The 21-year-old driver, also from Waipahu, and her passenger, a 27-year-old man from Waianae, died at the scene. A friend of the man killed says he was a wonderful person who had a good soul and was a hard worker. Firefighters used the jaws of life to extract the bodies pinned in the vehicle. Police say the driver and her two passengers were headed westbound on the H1 freeway when she lost control of the vehicle, climbed the right shoulder and overturned. Officials shut down the freeway near the Kualaka'i Parkway off-ramp for hours while officers investigated. An open Coors light can was found inside the cab of the truck, but police say it is not clear if speed or alcohol were factors. By 10 o'clock this morning, police reopened the freeway, but in a tow yard in Campbell Industrial Park, there remains the aftermath of the devastating crash on Easter weekend. Police say this morning's fatalities bring this year's total up to 20, compared to 16 at this time last year. Shane Enright, KITV4 News.